Hello, my name is C, and today I have two unbox unboxings from Craftably. Sadly, these are the last kits that I will be getting from them. Um, uh, it's very sad. I really love their kits, but I wanted to open these ones up still and take a look at them. So we're gonna start with, um, Island Paradise. Alright, I should probably do a full proper unboxing. So we have Craftily Brandy at the top of the box. A nice large image of the sticker, including the size in inches, the name of the kit, and the artist. On the back of the box, we have what is diamond painting, features, um, one of the owners behind the shop, and some toolkit stuff. So let's crack this one open. And there we go. Cool. So it looks like everything is tucked inside of the dust bag. Let's take this out. Okay, in our toolkits. It's a nice little purple craftably branded bag. Okay, we get, in case anything happens, it's in this little baggie, but we have um, a container with, I believe there's three pieces of wax in here. Whoops, we get an adorable little cover reminder, and then two rolls of washi tape. These were very kit kits. I actually needed more of that wax, so that's perfect. Inside here, we get a pair of purple tweezers. I actually really love these ones, so I'm going to keep these. <laughs> we get a pen with, I believe, a four-placer and a single-placer. So that are three. Mm, might be a four. Yeah, they're four. Four and a seven-placer as well. Purple squishy to go on the pen. Couple more pieces of wax and a purple moss for tray. So let's chuck this. I might need that. Okay, their kits come with like this piece of tape on here. I don't enjoy this tape, but it's fine. It's easy enough to remove. Okay. It is a very like soft canvas, but more st it's stiffer, but it's still pretty soft. <gasps> oh, okay. Look at how gorgeous that is. That is so bright. Oh, I love that. Okay, um, wrapped up in here, we get our sticker sheet, instructions. Ooh. Diamonds. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, let's move this aside and roll this backwards. I don't think this one will take long. You can do this if it is poor glue canvas like this. You will not end up damaging anything. And it lays flat nicely. Okay. So, where do I want to start? Let's just take a look at this canvas. At the top, we have Craftably Branding. It's their name. Down on the top left-hand side, we have a legend, as well as on the right, with our size and the little image of the kit. At the very bottom, we have the same... Oh, right, right down here, we have the same image, the name, and the artist. And then we have our um, social media information as well as a lifetime guarantee. I wonder about that now. I don't think it. I don't know about that. Um, just with them closing down. But anyways, that's that's a whole thing. We get a little... Oh, tells you 
everything that comes in your kit and how to diamond paint super easy garbage okay we're going to roll this backwards for a second ah Here is our sticker sheet. So we have craftably the size of the kit, 28 by 20 inches. What is that in centimeters? 50 by 60, somewhere in there maybe? Who knows? Let's take a look. In, oh, in just a centimeters. We go 28, 20, 50 by 70. I should have known that by looking at it. <laughs> Anyways, um, it is Island Paradise by Angie Hamlin. It is, is it square? Yeah. Cool. This one's square. Um, 69 colors. Looks like one, two, three, four, four crystals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine ABs. Uh, that should have been obvious. <laughs> wow. Okay. Looking at the symbols, there doesn't seem to be anything that would be super confusing. Or like I would mix them up. I really like how this is done. One through eight is one through eight. That's nice. There's some symbols on here that I haven't seen yet in Crafterly kits, like the little information guy, this one, the antennas, I think. That one's new. Kind of looks like some sort of monster looking thing. I haven't, I have like one of those big, whatever, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> Anyways, they look really good. Usually this is one that you see once or twice and I only see or like two times and I only see it the once. Same for the triangle, so that's really nice. Okay, I think we've looked at the symbols enough. Let's take a look at these diamonds. Um how do, we're gonna start with this one. Okay, let's zoom right on in. Okay. Ooh, so it looks like um, craftily bags are numbered with not only um, the first number right along here, but also the DMC. So these are all in order. Of the sticker sheets. So this is number 29, DMC 820, followed by some greens, pink, nice blue, oh bluey green, nice big bag of 99. I don't read out all the numbers. I do once once we get to the specials. We'll just do a quick peek. Not a lot of three ten. Gray, purples. I haven't worked on um, a square craftably before. I don't think. I'm excited to try it out. Greens, more beigey browns. Some beautiful pinks. And the squares look really good too. From what I can see. There we go. Some more 939. That's a really bright orange. That's pretty. I like those blues. Okay, we're gonna shove that aside. 
And here. Oh. We have the perfect little straggler. This is 3A. 3846 and it is an AB. So if you don't know, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is an iridescent coating that is placed on the top of the diamonds that kind of sh shine like the Aurora Borealis. So you get tones of pinks, purples, blues, and greens. On top of colors like this, you kind of get a pretty even coloring of the bunch. But yes, this is our first AB. We will find where that goes on the canvas later. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here are some more. This is 606, a nice bright red. 722, an orange with a more vibrant orange. 741 right beside it. These are all ABs, by the way. We have 906. And 907 two bright greens and then with three bags of 995 AB this blue is such a pretty color for an AB diamond followed by 996 another pale blue and 3078 which is a pale yellow I'm gonna set these aside yep. Here are some, some more of our regular blues. Yes, so, ooh, 775, such a pale minty one, that's pretty. And a peachy one at the end. Alright, some more pale colors. More blues and yellows. Purple. Ooh, 3842 is a pretty color. Alright. We have some more. 3843 is another really pretty blue. Peachy colors. And then, here are our crystals or rhinestones. So this one is LC550, so it is a deep purple. On our rhinestones, they look more like a clear diamond with that silver backing, which helps give it like a more reflective look. The silver goes on the canvas so you don't see it, and then you're just left with this really pretty reflective purple color. So we have 550, which is a purple. 601, which is a nice pretty pink. 3812, gorgeous tealy blue, and 3865, which is your more, your, not a pure white, but close to it. Okay, um, just for a second. Okay. We'll set those aside and zoom right back on out. Oops. I'm going to have to fix that. So here are all of our special diamonds. Um, tons of beautiful colors. Just to make it a little easier. So here we go. We are going to find where all of these go on our canvas. So... Oh, so quickly. Sorry, I'm going to zoom right back on in. And we're going to take a look at this canvas. Because I haven't seen one of Craftably's squares before. But they look really good with the symbols. Um, some of these blacks in the dark blue might be a little tricky to see. But I think it'll turn out okay. I think from a, up close, it'll be easy to see. Because there's two different colors in there. But, sorry, I'm looking right in here. But I think once I'm actually working on this kit, they'll be fairly easy to see. These lighter ones look really good too. Okay. <laughs> Did it right this time. <laughs> 
anyways here's what we're looking for the plus sign an r a dash and a zero for those rhinestones so let's start there um okay that might be a little easier okay so we have the plus sign plus sign r dash zero so that zero that off white these are the ones we're trying to find this one is right in the center of the sun as well as the top of all of these waves all down in here as well the little dash so this bluey minty aqua-y one is also in this wave and down in here yes and down in the reflection along here we have the r which is that um 601 that pink down here in the reflection along the top of this and it is this pink right on the outside of the sun and that goes all over here as well and back in here is there any and then there's some stragglers like up in the clouds and down in at the end over here in between the trees and then we get the plus sign. Oh, okay. So it is reflecting right back in here. Um, some right in here, right along these trees. Is that purple one? It is also just kind of a couple placed within this part of the clouds. Any any up here no no oh there's a few right there i feel like i'm missing some some more up in these trees a couple more down on this side and that hmm. i feel like i'm missing some because this is a nice bag oh there's some right along in here too so in these clouds Cool. Okay, so that's where the crystals go. We then have a ton of ABs. So we're just going to work down the list and see what we can find. I'll scoot these down. We are looking for the up arrow, which is our reddish 606, which is the red. And it is. There's a few right in this part of the clouds, a good chunk right along in here. Mm, and then some more in between the rays of the sun and a good chunk right in this um, part back here. And in the reflection here. Yes, so a lot of it is right along in the sun. We then move on to B, which is the lighter of the two oranges, and that is also outlining the clouds here and right in the sun. Yes, so it is like this lighter peachy color in the sun. Awesome. The T antenna, which is that bright orange AB, is reflecting, is in this part of the reflection in the orange. And it is also outlining the sun in here. The music note, which is the um, darker of the greens, is all in this wave. It is the darkest green. It is also down in the reflection right along here. And then we get seven, 907, which is that lighter green. It is the brightest green in all of those same places. So it is outlining this way, doing some outlining here, as well as down in here, in this reflection within the water. L, which is 995, that darkest blue AB, the three bags. It is 
Ooh, I thought it would have been down in the water. Oh, it is. Okay. That symbol that I pointed out, which is dark blue or the black on dark blue. Um, it is all in this. I thought I could bring it up just to make it a little bit more clear. I cannot. Oh, no. Okay. It is the darkest blue up in these clouds. It is the darkest blue up in here, all along in here, and I believe... Oh yeah, once we're closer to it, it's a lot easier to see. It's just from a distance, it's tricky. Um, it is all sprinkled in these trees on both sides. Um, some patches of it down in the water here, sprinkled in pretty much anywhere you see this darkest blue color is an AB. And it's all like reflecting in here as well. So, ooh, oh no, my nail broke. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I wonder when that happened. No, <laughs> but it is all in these, the reflections of the water. That's gonna be pretty. And then we have the middle kind of lighter ground of the two, this blue baby. And it is um, in the reflection of the water here, right? Yes, so it is right sprinkled in here in this part of the reflection, sprinkled down in this kind of wave or crest here, um, all sprinkled on the bottom corner here, and then a couple spots. Um, where was it? Right along in here for these clouds. So yes, it is just kind of sprinkled everywhere. Then we move on to the lightest blue. This guy, which is our little information sign. And that's in this wave. Not the lightest, but the second lightest blue. And... Down in this part as well, so this wave is the second lightest blue, and some spots just kind of sprinkled in along here, and of course it's sprinkled in on this side as well. That'll be pretty. And then we're left with the, um, oh there's two music notes, this light peachy beigey one, which is another music note, a different one. Sorry, I don't know music. There's the, the single and then the double thing. <laughs> I don't know music. If I if there's a proper name for it, please let me know. Um, it is the lightest, second lightest color in this reflection of the sun. It is also in this wave and the second lightest part outlining. Um in this part of the crashing wave as well. So there's more of that pale, yellowy, beigey one. It starts right along in here on this wave. And there's just a couple patches of it down in this reflection. <gasps> That'll be so pretty. Okay, so that is Island Paradise. This kit is gorgeous. I'm actually super excited to work on a square craftably. I haven't done one yet, but I have a feeling it'll look amazing, especially with all these enhancements. And a landscape too. Usually landscapes don't get that many special AVs, but this will be pretty. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this one up and grab the next one. Okay, so we will go through this one a little quicker. It is called Beacon of Hope. And, oh, ouch. Sorry, I moved the wrong way. <laughs> uh, oh, I keep forgetting about this tape. Ah, okay. Here 
we go. It's more felt like. I think that's what I was trying to figure out last time. Here is the bottom of the kit. Oh, it's still so bright. Look at those blues. Oh, I love that. And those pinks. Okay, that's, that's garbage. I'll deal with that later. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, let's... Roll this one backwards. And then... We can get proper look at this one. It'll have to be sideways, I apologize. Oh, but that's such a pretty kit. Oh, that's a white. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, this one. Well, I don't know inches. Uh, it is 45 by 70. Not a bad size. It has 66 colors. It's by um, Design Projects Shutterstock. Cool. <laughs> so this is Beacon of Hope. Here is that. Mm, there's that sticker for a more full image, but it has 66 colors. One, two, three, four crystals. One, two, three, four, five ABs. What do we think of symbols? They look... They look pretty clear to me. Nothing super confusing. This one is a round kit. Yeah, they look good. Okay. Let's crack into the diamonds. I'm going to zoom you all the way in. There's another... I should have said this on the last one. But the diamonds also have a sticker on the bag, so if you store things separately like I do, it's easy to match up. Here. Oh. I forgot one thing. Here are the washi tapes for this kit. And... Cover reminder. I should have done that sooner. <laughs> All right, I don't need anything else in there. So, All right, so this one is done a little bit differently from Island Paradise, and I, I'm curious as to why, but I don't know. Um. If you notice, this one still has the 19 as well as the DMC, so the 19 is just the number on the schematic, and E23 is the DMC, but then we also have MC2347. And if my guess is right, that would be the um, skew if it was included. But I don't see that listed anywhere on this canvas or the sticker sheet. So that would be my best guess, but I'm not too sure about that one. Anyways, um, here are ooh, 816. That's a pretty red. I wonder if the packing packaging difference is just because it is a round versus square kit. Or, if the manufacturer changed how things were packaged um, during the manufacturing process. But very pretty. They're still in um, order, so like one, two, three. Like the last one. It's just, it just looks slightly different on the packaging. Very, very pretty colors. A lot more browns and muted tones in this one, but then you also get these gorgeous tealy blues. 
that I love. Yeah. And then you have some more browns. That's more peachy, but it's showing up as yellow. Another teal, a beautiful blue. Some more yellows and pale blues. A couple bags of 3808. That's a lovely color. Alright, so those are your regular DMC colors. And then we get into our rhinestones. So we have 351, which is more orangey reddish color. 500, which is a deep green with like hints of blue in it. Two bags of 939, nine, which is a deep, deep blue. It's a little tricky to catch, but it is that deep blue, almost black. We have 3812, which is another tealy blue. And then we get into our EBs. So we have two bags of 310. We have a bag of 948 and 3078. 3756, which is an off-white, more minty. And then 5200, which is your pure white EB. So let's turn this and perfect. Didn't mess up that time. Okay, um, we won't cut it this time, I don't think. So we are looking for a triangle, a little bow tie, a dot, and the antenna for our four crystals. Actually, I could probably zoom you in just a little bit to get a better look at this. There we go. So, we have some of those dots up in this darkest blue, which is um, in these clouds, which is our dark blue crystal. Sorry. We also have this bow tie right in here. These greens is that crystal. Um, ooh. Okay, so all of this outlining the clouds is that triangle. Um, that orange, nope. Yeah, that like deep orangey color. Um, oh, and I completely missed all the antennas in this um, portion of the clouds, which is that darker, nope, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. This is the dark teal, this is that green, that 500. So that 500, that green is also right in here. We're going to move this down a little bit more. A couple more of those dark greens in here. Uh, don't see anything else in there. Okay, we have more of those dark greens sprinkled in this part of the clouds. Also in the base, or like in this lighthouse right here. We're gonna move it down just a little bit more. We also have some more of those green crystals right in this portion. I believe that's still clouds. And then we have a couple sprinkled in here. Some of those dots or the circles, which is that dark blue crystal in here. Oh, the blue crystal is also in the lighthouse. Um, at the, there's the bottom. So we have a couple more of those greens sprinkled in here. Um, more of that dark blue in these portions. Actually, it's pretty much sprinkled throughout this whole entire part down here. It's that dark blue. Um, this green ooh, is a different special. We'll talk about that. <laughs> and then we have... I thought I saw more of the antenna. Yes, I saw more of the antenna in these darkest portions of this the water down here 
So that's all the crystals. We then have um, the three point guy, the star. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to call that one. But two triangles, a arrow, and zero. So we'll start from the bottom this time. This entire, this dark, brightest patch, I don't know what to call this, this off green color down here. All of that is that black AB, all as well as in here and this entire side. So that green is that black AB. We then have zeros, which is that pure white in the water all in here as well, which is outlined by that off-white minty one. Pretty much everywhere. So you have that outlined here, here, all up in these parts of the waves. That arrows, the two triangles pointing. Not in the bottom, okay. And then any of the stars? Yes, the stars are also outlining in these patches. Oop, not there. Um, coupled sprinkled right along here. Cool, let's let's move on up. Okay, we have some more. Nope, I'm seeing things. We have a couple of the stars right in here. We also have some of those black EBs in here. And then we have some of that white AB outlining along here. With the stars. Um, yeah, there's some more of that white, so you have the stars doing some outlining in this portion of the clouds. Up arrow. And I still haven't seen the two triangles. Oh, I see them now. Okay. But yes, you have some of these back in this portion of the sky or the clouds. Really helping to highlight this lighthouse. And then you have some more of the stars up along in here. And then finally those two triangles along this portion. And over on this side doing some highlighting going to be so pretty. Okay. Um, I have one more kit to show you. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't going to unbox this one, but I had a very lovely friend reach out and offer to help me get my hands on this. Because I am international, I cannot, I couldn't order from craftable websites because they were only shipping within the U.S., um, I had a lovely friend reach out and offer to, um, help me get my hands on this kit, and I am so thankful. <laughs> I would have been so sad to miss out on this one. So, we have... And, like... Oh, I'm so excited for it, too. This has been when I was hoping that Craftably would still be around for a while and have their eventually add this one to their international warehouse, but that didn't happen. I don't know, I'm sad Craftably is leaving. They have such special kits. I'm just gonna toss all the ones I have in like my rainy day stash and slowly work on them. Because they are just gorgeous. Okay, here is um, our cover minder. It's a little seashell. And, ooh, the washi deep. Pretty. This is going in the garbage now. Okay. Ooh, it's so pretty. Did I say this is by Anthony Casey? I don't know what I did. Oh, look at how pretty it is. This thing's massive. Oh, I did not expect it to be this big. <laughs> okay. So it is a 36 by 24. I believe that's 60 by 80. Here is a look at that image. 
and it has one EB and two crystals. Cute. Oh. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> I have tons of leftover, like, here are all of my leftover Costably specials. I am totally, totally adding a ton to this one. Let's see if I can zoom out just a little bit more. Uh, right about there, it's about as good as I can get. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna take a picture and pop that up in here somewhere. However, stop. <laughs> However, I want these flowers to really sparkle and shine. So I'm gonna add extras there. First off, before I get too far ahead of myself, Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, moment of silence for the beautiful packing dog. Okay. So here are some of the colors. It's going to be a lot of blues, some oranges, some pale colors, some pinks. Um, Lots of pretty colors. Eight, two, three. Oh, there's so many blues. It's so pretty. Nice, pretty purple. Green. Ooh, nine, three, nine. Three bags of that so far. And then here was, I was going to take out the crystals and be like, here's where it is and here's what I'm enhancing. That's not gonna work. It didn't work the way I wanted to. It's fine. We have um, LZ444, which is a bright yellow, and 742, which is an orange. We're going to set those aside. Ah. Sorry, caught my ring. And then more blues and some grays. Gorgeous purples. Look at that. 333. Three, three. 310. There we go. Four bags of 310. And then we have 210, 209, and 208. You will often see these ones together. They are very pretty. And then some more grays that are kind of more pale blue, pale purple grays. Ah, there you are, AB34, which looks to be like a 210. Pretty dang close. Um, 3865, and then just some handful of colors, another gray. Gray's purple. And some last straggler colors. I wasn't going to, oops, I originally wasn't going to unbox this kit, so I wanted to just tuck it away so I could pretend it lasts longer. <laughs> Anyways, let's take that off. That goes over here. Those go right there. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Our AB is a C. 
And then we have sideways arrow and two dash lines. And then we have this is one of Craftably's older kits, so it doesn't include all the like double digit enhancements that they do now. But that just why are you bouncing? But that just leaves so much more room for um my own enhancements, which would be super pretty. It's because I'm leaning. Um anyways, we have the seas doing some outlining on these clouds. And also, down in the reflection right along the sides here. Yeah, down the sides on this one, and then some lines in here. That appears to be it for the seas. So what I will do um, is all of these O's in the moon, um, the reflection of the water, down in this patch here, I will change all of those out for white AB, I believe. AB or Glimmer? Now nah, let's go with AB. So I'm going to change all of those to ABs. And then in our flowers. So the yellow um, is just kind of sprinkled throughout these orange flowers along with that orange crystal. So the yellow crystals are. The yellow and the orange crystal are in these flowers as well as sprinkled up through here. I have, like I showed earlier, I have a ton of extra pink crystals, so I will swap those in here as well. I might even try to get my hands on some teals to throw in here at the edges of these ones. That might be ABs, that might be fairy dust or glimmers, but that'll definitely be added in. Also, I want some blues in this wave. <laughs> And I think that is all I will change. Um, but yes, this kit is gorgeous and I am so thankful um, that Nicole was willing to help me out and get this up here. This is such a gorgeous kit. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so pretty. This one has a ton of color blocking, like as this entire sky is just giant patches of color blocking. There's more confetti up in the trees and down in these flowers and like the waves but other than that it's a lot of color blocking oh it's gorgeous okay so um that was my um the last kits i will ever get from craftably i i keep saying this but i am so sad um about the news of craftably they have such gorgeous images these will um, <laughs> definitely be hoarded in my rainy day stash. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please consider liking or subscribing and let me know um, down below in the comments which one of these three you think I should work on first. No guarantees of when I work on them, but let me know which one you think. Alright, that is all I have for you today. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.